Thanks for inviting us in. We want to start tonight at 11 with new details that we've uncovered about a woman accused in a deadly crash from last week. Tonight, we've learned this is not her first accident. Police, in fact, think she may be responsible for another deadly crash just weeks ago. Tonight, our Rachel Krause looks into court documents uncovering past problems behind the wheel. A week after an eight-car crash claimed the life of an Indianapolis mother, we're learning the woman accused in the crash shouldn't have been driving. IMPD arrested Kelly Anderson this evening on reckless homicide charges. And now, court documents reveal this is the second deadly crash she's been accused of in less than a month. A huge loss. He lives in our neighborhood. Off Committee members are friends with the family. Last month, Dr. Brian Dillman was killed while walking near 49th and Meridian when an SUV crossed into oncoming traffic. Now, police say the woman accused in that crash is the same woman who killed a young mother of four last week. This woman comes barreling up behind her. The cops told me going at least 55. And out of eight cars, Kiana was the only injury. It took them two hours to cut her out of the car is what the detective told me. This latest crash happened at the intersection of Keystone and 52nd Street. Several cars were stopped at a light, but the one Kiana Burns was driving took most of the impact. Kiana died of her injuries from the crash. She saved those other people in those cars because she took the hit for everybody. Now court documents paint a clearer picture of what happened that day. After Anderson told police she takes medication for severe life-threatening allergies and epilepsy saying she blacked out. Data from the car found she was accelerating at the time of the crash, and court records show she's been at fault for five crashes since 2019, including the accident that killed Dr. Dillman. If we don't address these issues, the inevitable will happen. And it's so tragic, my heart, my prayers go out to the family involved. We're all heartbroken. Records from a medical check after that incident indicated doctors told Anderson she was at high risk to herself and others and shouldn't drive for six months unless cleared by a neurologist. Anderson told doctors she understood. On top of the criminal charges she faces, there's also a motion in the works to suspend her driver's license. Anderson's blood was tested after the May 19th and June 9th deadly crashes, and we are still waiting tonight on those toxicology results.